today's exploration, we will be visiting numerous buildings within the same campus, all from different decades, and serve different purposes. Built in 1896, this type of property is known as a convent, a religious institution that the community used for its chapel and religious services. Also included in the campus was a nun college. Nuns are women who devout their lives to learning and teaching religion, usually living inside the convent. There are also other buildings on the campus other than that. A school for children, a nursing home, sanctuary, and the building where the residents stayed. All with beautiful century-old architecture that is only one of its kind. The downfall of the property started 10 years ago when funding for upkeep for this historical property didn't come in. The sisters then sold the property to a construction group who plans to redevelop the property for affordable housing as well as a senior center. The enormous property that could hold thousands now holds nobody. And today we see what's left before it's gone forever. If you enjoy the exploration, leave a thumbs up and let's go explore. Welcome to another exploration. Today, we're gonna to be exploring an enormous convent. This property is historical, it's amazing, it's architecturally beautiful, and it was built in 1896. The building we're actually in right now was the last building that was in use. This closed down in about 2018. It's been overgrowing and just sitting abandoned for some time. You could see all this overgrowth here in the lobby. And we're gonna be exploring the whole campus. We're joined by Chris, Urbex and Chill. Currently Urbex and Chillin, and we're gonna head into the first room here, and that would be the auditorium. Still pretty well-maintained. Not much decay happening here. So as we explore, we're going to be going into the older buildings. We're going to start with the newest stuff because it's not as interesting. Um, it's interesting, but not as beautiful as old architecture or old style, old woodwork, all the detail they put into the other buildings here, top notch. But so far, so good. Um, we're about to be on the stage and they left a bunch of stars up, I guess, hanging from the last play they showed here to all the kids. Definitely a giant space. Probably about a few hundred kids would fill this auditorium at max capacity. And what'd you find? There's a body down here. It's probably a mannequin. <laughs> oh my god. It looks terrible. It's got a bloody nose. <laughs> So they're planning on making this whole property an assisted living facility, housing for seniors. This is actually some of the plans here for it. I hate when places get repurposed or whatever, but it's better than demolition. This probably is the um, projector yeah. room. No more projectors? No. Oh yeah. This is definitely where they shine though. Looks like we found the upper seating. Not many spots up here. 
but you still get a pretty good view of this here auditorium. These are going to be like classrooms, more likely. Yeah, the kids' corner. Hey, we got a good view of uh, what else is here, though. Oh yeah. You could see some of the math equations that were hanging up on this wall here in the classroom. We have some R on the ground. Yeah, so most of these rooms are actually gutted. Seems like this whole school was like gingerbread themed. Super random. Don't know where that came from. Kiss the cook. Oh, look at this. So got all these hand prints of children who used to go here. Arts. Wow. So you could see over here in this third floor, they had some skylights above the drop ceiling. So it actually looks like lights are still on here. But there's a decent amount of mold and water on this upper floor here. That's probably the reason why it closed. So it really looks like the third floor here is pretty empty, but um, we're going to keep exploring and see if there's anything left in these modern buildings, but if not, we're going to go ahead right to the chapel, one of the most impressive parts of this campus. So we have some roof access up here. Yeah, but I don't want to go on top. No, I mean, you don't want to get out of position. Beautiful day though. So I entered this room. Looks like any any other room, right? Yeah. Tell me what this swing is doing attached to the ceiling. <laughs> some, uh, some freaky stuff in here. Look at that. They have it attached to the ceiling there. Um, you wanna get it? No. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. Can we lower it? No, a giraffe on the back. So this was the gymnasium inside this place. Completely torched. The walls weren't originally black. You could actually make out some like tan and blue, but this entire room is just filled with soot. We have this gorgeous cabinet just sitting here but that's about it so overgrown got some kids tonka trunk still here 
made it to the chapel. It's enormous. So this chapel was constructed in 1925. And this is actually one of the buildings on the property that is going to be saved. And the reason, because it's going to be saved, is all the original stained glass, intact, perfect stained glass left inside this place, imported from other countries around the world. This is a beautiful sanctuary. Look at the detail here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Christ just hanging up. Up there. He's protecting this place. Can't even truthfully capture the size of this room here. Beautiful though. Now we're gonna head up top. Go check out that organ, the stained glass, and the view from up top. It smells awful. Beautiful view from up here. Thankfully, this is getting saved. There's a ladder inside of the organ. Wow, what a view. And right behind us, we have this beautiful, beautiful stained glass. It looks brand new. to a, a new building, or one, that, one that's attached to the chapel. I believe this is the building where the nuns and the uh, students here, they slept. Here's all the woodwork. Definitely a beautiful staircase here. Beautiful woodwork. Before we head upstairs, I do want to check out the first floor, see what else we could find here. Oof, this room's pretty cool. Yeah, I love the wallpaper. Very high ceilings. Found the front entrance to the building. Nothing spectacular. Got a painting up there. Another beautiful fireplace. All the architecture and time put into this building is pretty impressive. And I guess this is the main staircase here. So we made it into the dining hall. You could see all this 
woodwork. All these cabinets are actually molded into the walls here, along with the fireplace. This was the cafeteria, I'm guessing, eating hall. Just by guessing, I think that's what it was. Either that or like a recreational room where a lot of people can be in the same spot. So we found a blue hallway here. And this actually leads to another building. So we're not gonna go there quite yet because if we look outside, that building that we would be going to has like four stories and many rooms. So we're gonna continue our exploration of this building before we move on that way. So before we head upstairs, I just noticed this little small room, closet room underneath the staircase, built in cabinets in here as well. It's all these little tiny nooks and crannies, even like the coat hangers up here. These are the little things that I notice when exploring giant places, the things that are easily looked over, but the cool little details that make places unique. Wind window room. Oh, it's totally insane. Barely noticed this completely stone arch built into the building here. <laughs> so this was actually an old entrance or exit, and they built this whole newer section here. Yeah. That was obviously the old entrance. That's beautiful. I'm glad they kept that old That's look, nice. though. Yeah. It's a shame they built over it, though, Same at the same time. Yeah. Details in the ceiling in here are pretty nice. Barely pick them up on camera though. Why are you looking at the ceiling? Look at all these bullets. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these are all empty casings. Yeah. Uh, practice shells. Yeah. From a load of a ton here. Police training. Why would they use this beautiful building for this? Yeah, right? They use this whole building for shootings. Yeah. Training. There's a lot more over here too. <sighs> oh. All the little details in here are insane. This closet is fully furbished. I wish I had this in my house, man. Right? It's built in. Dude, it'd be so organized. Look at this locking. I can't do it. I can't lock it because... Yeah, it's, it's so ornate. Yeah. Beautiful little uh, closet here. All the space in the world. Beautiful, beautiful. Everything in here is so gorgeous. So most of this building is empty, but you can imagine that people that were going here would both live in this building, and I'm sure there were some offices here as well. Map doesn't really tell us anything. Let's see what else this floor has. There's the chapel we just left. Just found ourselves in what I maybe believe is a library. A lot of book storage here, a lot of shelf storage. Nice open windows, and we have this side room here. Oh 
Here's the main staircase. We're starting to see a lot more decay as we head up. Unfortunately, the problem with these old buildings are is that they deteriorate from the top up, usually resulting from water damage going into these old cracks and spreading throughout the building, causing mold, and in the winter causing ice to expand, slowly breaking the place down. Anything over there? No. So far, this is a pretty fun explore. Not a ton left behind, really, at all, but, but the architecture and the history within the walls is clear as day. It's a real back-in-time feeling just walking around here. But before we head to the next building here, we're going to go up see what else this building has. Wow, so there's actually about three more floors. This place goes up higher than I thought. Here we have some more evidence of the, the police shooting or the training that was going on in here. We have the dummies put out, cut out on the wall. Even have some more shell casings here. I'm just glad police aren't here at the same time we are. Okay, so there's another floor that we can go into. Oh, look at this, we have an elevator shaft. Nice. Did this mm -hmm. Not as pretty up here. A lot of, uh, stuff. Not really much up here at all. No. Very small rooms. Really? This place is such a maze. Even though this place is pretty much empty. Oh, wow. I just noticed all these cabinets in here. Look at this. These are all locked for the most part. Here's one that's open. Just mass closet storage for everybody up here. What I was trying to say is, this place is really fun to walk around and explore, even if it's kind of empty. It's fun to get lost in a building like this, not knowing what's around every corner. So we made it to the roof, and we're here for one reason. To go into that little, little thing up there. Doesn't it look like such a cool chill spot? It's like the best spot here. Have to go there. Hopefully we're not seen by too many people. Wow, we're so high up. <laughs> I don't know if we can go over there without like nearly dying. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to be like hanging off the building. I don't feel like going over there, see? You're already slipping. What a chill spot though. I wish there was like a ladder that directly went to it because this is way too steep to play around on. 
we could automatically tell that the fire escape we're in was added late because this is probably a window overlooking the side of the building. All this was added later on. But anyway, right now we're going to be heading to the four-story building and seeing what else is in this campus. Authorized personnel only. Mm. Wow, this looks a lot like a, looks like a hospital. <laughs> looks like a hospital a little bit, but this is the back of the kitchen. It does give off a hospital vibe though with the tiling. Definitely. Yeah, full blown kitchen. So we're in the new building. Guessing this is the cafeteria because of all these fruits up on the wall. But this is very similar to the first building we went to. Very school like cinder block classroom style. Let's peek our heads around this place and see if there's anything left, I guess. Looks like it's pretty gutted though. Wow. Yeah, scrappers kind of did their thing with this with this building, it looks like. Ripping the ceiling out, taking as much copper as they want. Ooh, there's some pews in here. Is there? Yeah, it's like a little mini church. We have even some stained glass here. Cool. Watch the floor. Oh, yeah. Got some nails sticking up. This is cool, but just not compared to the other one. No, this is a very miniature level of chapel. I do like the skylight above the altar or area over here though. Get some natural lighting here in the basement or first floor. We still have some confessional booths left behind as well. Are you trying to make a confession? Yeah. Should this be the moment? What do you want to confess? Well, let's go inside. <laughs> Hello. When, uh, what do you seek? I am here to admit my sins. What are your sins, my child? YouTube clickbait. Oh, I think I'm guilty of the same thing. Oh, no. Just just tell me ten Bloody Marys, or whatever they're called. Or ten Hail Marys. Okay, we're going to be here for a while. Okay. You comfortable? No. Okay, me either. <laughs> you speak? Oh, no, we have a wellness center. Far from well in here, though. Mm. Purple. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh. What is, it? Is this in here? what is it? Ooh, it's like a hydro tub, mm -hmm. or it's like a, just like a handicap tub. Yeah, still pretty neat. Wow. Yeah. What a random thing to have in here. So this is like a medical building. Yeah. This thing's big. It is really big. It doesn't look that old. This was inspected last in 2013. Really? Yeah. They could have found use for this, but the thing is they'd have to uninstall the whole thing just to get it out to this door and then reinstall it. So probably most places don't bother with that. Yeah. Wow. really decayed up here. Make sure this is wedged in there. It's like we have a little hospital front desk here. Yeah, this is really for the hospital now. Especially with all the glass. It's ugly and modern, but it's still kind of cool with that. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, so this was most likely probably like a drug rehab. I know a lot of religious societies, they run their own like rehabilitation centers out of where they're stationed. Maybe there was more use though. 
Wow, this is a really clean hallway. This is so reminiscent of a hospital with the handicapped railings on both sides. So I did some research online and I just realized that this was actually used in 2015. That would be this building was used for like a senior center. Oh, okay. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. We got beds in here. It says the sisters' names on some of the doors. Yeah, we have a had like a like a handicap bed. Like a medical bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this was definitely the senior center here. The phone room. Oh, here we go. There's one of the here's one of the beds all folded up. Ooh, 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 ooh. So the fourth floor has a like a bluish green tint to it. Didn't expect to see a hallway like this here. I think in the floor beneath us, the pink floor, probably women. Up here, probably men. Just guessing though. This place just keeps on going. Floor number five. Oh, this is a school here. This is the nun school. Oh, with the original classrooms, chalk and all. Wow, okay, I didn't I didn't expect to see it. I didn't expect this to be this cool looking. This is an amazing old auditorium here. I did not expect to see this. auditorium we did not even know this was going to be here so this is a complete surprise yeah oh yeah this this one beats the modern one out the water you could actually see there was probably skylights up here long ago and they maybe patched them in but we're gonna have to jump on that second level this is a beautiful auditorium What an amazing auditorium. We're gonna look around the rest of this school here on the property. This place has so much more than I anticipated. I don't even know where to go. I'm gonna walk this way towards this nice door I see.
Not quite sure what this little area was, but there's a lot of mold in here. Okay, so upstairs the classrooms have carpet. More woodwork shown off here. You can see the warping of the wood underneath. And here we have the upper level of this auditorium here. Just a single row of seats, but an amazing old, old theater. I mean, seriously, this is my favorite room here. And I didn't even know this was here. What a little treat. Okay, this is the final floor of this school building. Actually, quite a small little building here, but it packs a big punch. I guess this would be the library up here. Not much else going on. Just storage. Okay, this was definitely a library. Library? Yeah, look at all the bookshelves. Yeah. What do they need? Love all the woodwork in here. And we have a fireplace in here. Is it a fireplace? All the bad it's a fireplace, it has a outlet oh, okay. inside of it. I guess you don't burn bad books. What's that um what's that Sony thing? Sony Make believe. I don't know, it's like a tablet. I never even heard of that. Nah, it looks pretty old. Must have not uh, did very well. I love this little art piece here of just the galaxy. I mean, we have all the planets and we have like this fire coming out of it and we have the mountains, we have a whale. Just life all around. Okay, now we're going to be heading into the basement. Sounds wet. Yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of water coming down from here. We have a handicap chair. Oh, so this isn't even the basement. This is, this is the basement. The it's, basement sounds wet. <laughs> yeah, it's flooding really bad. Ooh, it's nice and cool. Uh... Looks like we just have some more classrooms below um, ground level. Very old. What is this we found? Oh, this is like a... Like a playroom? Like yeah, it's like a gymnasium kind. Like a... A gymnast? What am I thinking of? It's like a giant activity room. Yeah. Oh no, this was a, a gym. Yeah, a weight room. You could actually smell it in here. It stinks like sweat once you get down here. I love the the grass though growing from that broken window. Oh, it's not even broken. <laughs> the fury. The fury of nature. Oh, we got a spiral staircase. Hidden. It must go into the uh, theater. Pretty sick. That goes up high, huh? It's right into the theater. I bet it wasn't always hidden like that. They probably just didn't want kids going on it. This is where there's water dripping. Creepy. Yeah. Must lead back to those other buildings that we're gonna do. Yeah. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's exploration. It was a long day. We saw a lot of buildings here, many of which from different decades, different eras. We were jumping back in our time capsule many different times today to different eras. Ending it here was perfect. I loved 
this whole building, everything within it, it was such a surprise to find. I enjoyed the chapel as well as the monastery, the convent, the woodwork that was there, just the history and the walls. There wasn't a lot actually left behind, like item-wise. There wasn't many antiques left behind, but the history we did see just walking through the, the halls of, the, of just the shell of the building was phenomenal. I loved today's exploration. Hopefully you did too. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. And that's going to do it. Hopefully I see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out. Thank you.